Okay, hey guys, I know I haven't uploaded the other past couple of days. I've been a bit busy, unfortunately, but um, everything I've been busy with has uh, been sorted out now, pretty much. Um, so we should be back to my regular uploads. But something I want to um, show off today, even though it's usually free to play Friday today, is this. This is the GameCube controller. You may recognize it from my history of Nintendo controllers, where I went through every Nintendo controller. And in that I mentioned that the GameCube was my favorite controller. So when I found out that I could easily use a Mayflash adapter to play it on my Nintendo Switch, I was like, bye. So yeah, this has come now. So I want to go through a couple of games uh, um, and it, um, yeah, just to show, our, just talk about how playing on these games feels with the GameCube controller. So here we have Breath of the Wild. Oh, um, okay, so that's what happens when it goes in the water. Ah, yeah, so X is to dash in the water. So, I'm just going to try and get out of the water here before I drown. I think I'm going to drown, yes. I drowned, okay. Not a very good start. Oh, I keep on pressing the wrong button. How do you? No, that's not glide. Which one's the glider? Um. Right. Which one's jump again? Not yet. That's bow. That's sword. That's that. Surprisingly, A is not jump, unfortunately. Which would have made this. Oh, ah, here we go. X is to jump. There we go. Okay. Right, so yeah, um, exit to jump, um, no, no, I don't wanna, um, right, bear with me here, I am having to relearn the entire control scheme again, basically. Okay, so, um, here, right, X is jump and glide. Y is to attack, uh, B is to sprint, A doesn't really do anything, the C stick looks around as usual, um, the start and pause button opens the inventory, now because we don't have a minus button unfortunately, I cannot open the map, um, I can go through there, um, Z button is to use your bow and arrow so you can still do that, I don't have any um, regular arrows. Um, well, I really need to resupply on arrows. Um, the D-pad works perfectly fine. Um, yeah. So, oh, there's a fox there. Uh, let's glide over to the other side here. And then, not Y. Which one is it to? Do the thing again. Oh. No, no. Which one was it? Oh yeah, it's um, L to you as the Sheikah Slate. Um, so the buttons I am currently missing. Let me just uh, is the box anywhere within sight? No. So off memory. We are, well actually I can compare it to um, this controller. Um, yeah, now oh, the camera's lagging. Anyway, so we're missing a minus button, a capture button, and a home button. Um, we are missing 
an L button. Uh, well, actually, we have L and R, but we're missing Z. Uh, we have Z, L, and R, which is just L and R on here. But we're missing L, and we currently have R, which is labelled as Z. So we're missing one, two, um, three, four buttons. About and only like two of them are actually used in gameplay. So, um, while it's going to be tricky to use, it's not going to be impossible. So, um, yeah, I cannot use my shield because that is uh, registered on the L button on the Switch controller. So, yeah, which would be ZL on here. But there isn't a ZL, there's only Z, which is on the right side. Um, so, um, if you want to play Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild with no shield and no map, then the GameCube controller will force you to not use your shield or map. Um, there was a Korok back there. Um, obviously you have the little map in the bottom right hand corner and I wasn't paying attention so I ran into a tree. Um, but yeah, if you want a little bit of extra challenge, um, use the game controller. Right, now something I want to mention here quickly. Um, I would love it if like, um... Indie developers and third party developers did this, um, but I don't. But I think the most likely people to do this is Nintendo. Release a control scheme. So, like, if I went to pause here, I went to L and I went to um, controls, and it'd be a control button here. It would have um, several options so like Joy Con, um, Pro Controller, GameCube Controller, and there'd, there'd be like a um, special. Uh, but uh, you know buttons for GameCube controller. So like A would be jump, um, Y could still be attack, or well, maybe X could be attack. Um, yeah, X could A year to jump, X to attack. That's how I would do it. B to run, that's still because that that just feels n natural to me. Um, so you could like have Y be shield, um, you could still have Z year be bow. Um, you could still have that be, you could still have R throw your weapon, yeah, L, that could stay as L, um, so yeah, um, pretty much, yeah, so the only reason why this isn't working properly on the GameCube controller is because A here, uh, oh right, the camera's like, uh, A is not being used, so that means we are one button less than our maximum potential, which um, in the first place was is two buttons down, essentially making us three buttons down, which is not good. Because yeah, D-pad works um, just like normal. Oh yeah, you could still use A to open stuff. Yeah, so. Apart from opening stuff, A really doesn't do anything. I keep on forgetting which one to do. Now, bearing in mind this is the first time I've played using the GameCube controller in Breath of the Wild. <gasps> so, um... Oh, this is nice. Up, I don't think you're supposed to put a rock there for a core rock. Um... But yeah, it is actually, you know, you are just missing a map button, and that's pretty much it. Or well, map button and A could be really be used better. Anyway, um, home button on this pro controller. Now, for something I've played a bit more of, using the GameCube controller. Oh, no, no! <laughs> Mm. Minecraft. And while that's loading up, I'm going to grab these. Pokemon World Championship, uh, 
uh, has started apparently. I would be more interested if they stopped the hacking problem, but hey ho! Right, let's just jump into a world. Um, the, uh, this world, and um, this is what I'm using to test out some command block creations. So, um, I've just been in here uh, doing stuff. I'll probably show off a couple of the command blocks creations now. The Minecraft, where is probably the best game. Uh, right now, for you to play uh, ga play using the GameCube controller. Um, bearing in mind at this point in time, um, oh, um, Smash Bros isn't out, Smash Bros Ultimate isn't out for the Switch yet, and um, there's no real games that I know of that have a GameCube controller control scheme. Uh, but you may be going like, but why is Minecraft the best uh, game to use a GameCube controller on? Well, the, the uh, simple answer is settings, controller. You can fully customize the control scheme. The current control scheme I have is jumping it on A, drop rating B, attack and destroy on R and uh, on R, uh, use item place block on L, Crafting right on the D-pad, inventory left on the D-pad, cycling through items uh, Y and X. Um, I haven't got anything for Toggle's perspective because I ran out of buttons. Sneak and fly down is down on the D-pad. Um, open chat is up on the D-pad. Uh, pick block is um, Z. And yeah. So that's why Minecraft is, if you wanna, if you love the GameCube controller, uh, Minecraft is currently the best con game to use on the, with the GameCube controller. Um, obviously, not natively. You will have to customize it to your own likings. Like, like I said, those are my custom um, settings uh, for this game. Um, let me just grab some sticks. Um, so, yeah. And the reason why I um, have open inventory and crafting on the D-pad is because I switch items more than I open my inventory. Like, it's not to say that opening inventory is uncommon, but it's um, not as common as um, things. So yeah, you can see here I've got a basic form of tree capitator. So if you break the bottom log, it'll break all of them. Um, It's a bit, and I've also got a vein miner and they're a bit iffy, so I've been working on them. Um, I'm going to light this area up a bit better. Because this is going to be the farm area. We don't want creepers on the farm. That's a very nice farm you got there. It'd be a shame if something quitter happened to it. Oh, there's a skelly bum with a helmet and a, a um, drowned. Oh, I accidentally switched. Uh, I, actually, I think I actually got his chainmail helmet then. Why did I do that? Yeah, I got his chainmail helmet. That's cool. I'll keep that for decoration. So yeah, combat. Um, while I wouldn't suggest um, using this, for PvP, uh, mind you, you can if you want to, um, but it's just like um, the buttons are a bit limited. Well, actually, th uh, this will actually do quite well. Um, it's a little bit buggy with placing and breaking blocks. Like sometimes you'll have to um, take your button off the um, your finger off the button and repress it a, a few times, and it can get annoying if you're looking at it. Um, and you have to do it a few times in a row. Um, but you could actually use this in, in a PvP setting. I might actually show that off in uh, Minecraft Switch later. Um, but yeah, it does work well for Minecraft. Mind you, I'd have to reset the, I'd have to uh, do the controls for Minecraft Switch because I haven't played it in Minecraft Switch. I've only played it in Bedrock. Okay, I'm just gonna kill this spider and this zombie. Um, 
Now, one complaint I can understand about the um, GameCube controller is um, this is a bit loud. The L and R buttons are a bit loud, and if your main complaint with the um, controller is that they're loud, then yeah, I can understand that. Yeah, um, they were li they were literally the noisiest thing about the Nintendo GameCube when it came out. Oh, oh wait, no, I'm going to want to save. Um, so, start, save and quit. Alright, let's show off a couple more games. Um, how about the Insane Trilogy, being as that um, recently came out for the Switch? Breath of the Wild back. I do have a couple of games physical, but I've been mostly buying my Switch games digitally because these car these cartridges are so goddamn tiny. I don't want to lose them, so I've been bu buying them physically mostly. So uh, yeah, I have a jo I have my Nintendo Switch next to me, so I can just press the home button on my um, Joy-Con that's docked on my Switch with my Switch. So yeah, yeah. This is going to be an extra long episode to make up for the fact that I haven't uploaded in a while. So yeah, I guess. Anyway, Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. You heard the Dr. Cortex. Cortex. Yep. Also, the only reason why I'm not using my capture card right now is because, um... Is because, uh, um, I don't want to bother uh, my friend Jack Stringer right now with helping me overlay the, uh, um... Webcam and everything. And I want to make sure, absolutely sure that, um... Uh, I can get this out today. In the same trilogy. Oh, I'm not like bearing in mind. I'm not that good at the in insane. Tr well, I've only played a bit of the first game, and I'm not, and I'm not that good at this game. So, <laughs> let's see how well I do with a GameCube controller. Mind you, this game was developed on uh, the PlayStation uh, One, which had less buttons, I think, right now. I think I have a couple more buttons than the PlayStation One did. So that's my, that might be good, because I think I only had two shoulder buttons. So A is not jump, B is jump, okay. Yep, I go. Yep, I go. Okay, which one, ah, there we go. That spin. I can't believe I got hit by that thing. getting further than I um, usually do on one. Oh, I hate this guy. Haha. <laughs> I'm actually doing better with the GameCube controller right now than I usually do with the Switch. Here, go figure. Oh. Okay, so, um, that was the Insane Trilogy. Um, now let's do Mario Kart.
Um, let's just close that. So I might, I might um, see. Uh, I might play on that later and see if I can actually get a bit further and see how much better I am with the GameCube controller because I didn't expect that to happen. Okay, Mario Kart. Hey, this shouldn't be um, too different. Right now I'm just going through all the games I have physically. Mario Kart 8 Version 1.6.0 uh, Single player uh, Grand Prix Pre. Uh, 50cc uh, Just to show this off Yeah, let's, let's do Breath of the Wild Link with his uh, um, Breath of the Wild stuff um, Yeah, let's do this There's that one, one race and uh, just to see how it feels Racing with the GameCube controller. Uh, bearing in mind, I've played very little of Double Dash. Uh, I've only played a bit of it when I was at um, Jack's place. So um, I have no next to no experience racing with the GameCube controller. Three, two, one, go! Do do do. Okay, so that's still good. That looks... That's to look backwards. Okay, Z is to do that. Okay, which one's to use item? Ah, that one. So, L's to use item. R and Z is to bounce. Um, Y... Um, I don't know what Y does. And X looks backwards. I think Y might use items. I don't know. I don't know what B does. B's go backwards, I think. Yeah. Probably. Oh! I actually don't get to this too often when I'm just playing by myself. So, um, oh, yeah, oh, really? Yeah. Ah, must not get salty in while she. Oh, come on, come on, damn, come on. Um, so yeah, this actually feels very good. The only thing I thing I could say that um would uh, make this a, a bit of a struggle is um. The left, oh, the left and the right bumpers, uh, um, bullet things, uh, whatever you want to call them, they um, have a much more, much stronger pushback than um, late game, later game, game controllers such as the um, Switch, Wii, and you know, uh, Wii U. Uh, meaning that um, if I want to drag items like this, it is going to. Um, take a higher toll on my finger. So I wouldn't suggest playing this game for lo a long period of time using the GameCube controller. Yeah. Hey, I'm so close to la lapping I think that's Iggy. Game! This game's evil sometimes. Okay. Ah. So, on to the next game. Mario Odyssey. Um, this will actually be a nice little test because I was thinking after Galaxy doing Odyssey, or well, Galaxy 2 one hundred percent. Let's say I was thinking about doing Mario a Mario Odyssey playthrough, um, but I don't know how um, strict Nintendo is with the 
copyright with um, showing footage of uh, Odyssey and the audio. So this will be a nice little tester. Um, so Mario Odyssey. So I'm not too... Um, what's the word? I don't really care that much about this. Video. Like if it's uh, if it's if they want to claim it as their own, it's like okay, whatever. Like this is just me showing off the GameCube controller and how well it works for the Switch, and also suggesting to game developers to put in a um, GameCube controller mode for this for their games. Yeah. There we go. Oh yeah, I haven't played this in a while, so I'm gonna get a couple of things. Resume. Collect more power moons. So, oh, hello, Ted. Hi there, hats are all the rage in the Mushroom Kingdom. Princess Peach brought them back from the moon as a, as souvenirs. There's Luigi. So B's jump, A's jump. X is throw your hat, Y is throw your hat, Z is to crouch. Um, yeah, that L changes the fit. L and R change the cameras, and you can, and you're just running around. So obviously there's no motion control, so you can't do the homing attack. Oh, Cappy actually wears the sunglasses. Yeah, anyway. Uh, let's do some ga gameplay of this. Um, hey. Hey there, ha have I seen that outfit somewhere before? Anyway, looking good, bro. Hey, you want to connect uh, to the network, uh, yep. Congratulations, your uh, star rank has gone up, but you get 100 coins. Yay. Yeah, I think a higher rank means you'll get more coins. So keep playing Balloon World. What's up? Uh, let's play Find It. All right, let's begin. First, we will uh, move to a start to the starting point. All right, let's play find the balloon. Um, let's do. Let's just go up for this one. Okay, thirty-eight seconds to find the balloon. Thirty. It's there. Okay. Maybe we should pick a harder one. Um. Isn't there only really level one guy I can do? No. Okay, let's do. Well, let's do you see. Right, one more try. Uh, we'll do three games. What? Where? Hey. What? Where is it? Am I blind? Right now, two, three, what? They hid it in the tr Oh, you sneaky little bugger! You hid it in the tree! Okay! Um, screw it, 
let's do this guy. Ah. Where is it? Is it up here? Five. I can't find it. I thought they did it on top of the roof, but no. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh, quit. Quit. Okay, so that was uh, Mario Odyssey. Um, my initial thoughts. Um, they really should be be able to home in with by just by double pressing the um, attack button. But other than that, this is actually fairly. Well, usable, you know, you could actually do do quite well with this um, using the GameCube controller. Wait, can you ground pound? Yes, there we go. Oh, coins. Anyway, on to the next game. I don't know why he's on trying to log me in. Um, what did I get? Uh, Sonic Mania. Why not? Let's play a bit of Sonic Mania. I'm not too good at Sonic Mania either. either. Uh, Sega. Head cannon. Uh, Mania mode. Let's just do a no save mode quickly. What's that uh, the sound it made before it teleported everybody? Sounds like sound like the beginning to like a dubstep move. You know, it sounds like a Okay, so uh, this is a bit loud, so I'll turn it down. There we go. Right. A jump. X nothing. Y jump. B jump. R nothing. L nothing. Z nothing. Down. Up. Right. Left. Uh, D-pad, same thing, start and pause, okay. Okay, I just walked into you. And so did Tails. Oh, we're in here, apparently.
Stop right there. No, I can't do the right. Oh. Going faster. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, man. You can do it. Ah! Ah! Oh, this. This sign. You get hard to control. There you go. I think I got it. Yeah, it's only got the Chaos Emerald. Oh, and it's raining outside. Wow, it really sounds like it's pulling it down. Oh, no you don't. I always hated those hidden springs that just launch you back when you try to go fast. Oh, there's a spring there. Oh, don't want to hit that. Oh, and it's down. Ah! Oh, kill! It. Oh, no! Ah, quit. Yep! Oh no! Oh bugger. Oh bugger. Yeah, I'm dead. And after that was uh, Sonic Mania. Um, yeah, and I think uh, that'll do. Right. Um, if you want to, I can make another video. Um, playing some other games like Hyrule Warriors, Pal Paladins, um, The Bridge, I haven't even played that yet, or some of these bad games, or the Enter the Gungeon, Rogue Road, um, Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle, or Pocket Rumble, oh no I didn't mean to press A on that. Um... Or maybe it's Fortnite or Rocket League or is there any of these I might I I haven't played Statue Valley in that long really I really need to get back into that anyway um but yeah um would I suggest uh, um if you have a GameCube controller getting a May Flash adapter to play on Switch yes. Because it is, uh, like I said, one of the best controllers. It's just nice to hold. And when you uh, can map out the buttons correctly, the uh, it can also, it can all also have like the best uh, button layout. The only problem is you are missing two buttons that will be used in gameplay, and you will need to keep a Joy-Con next to you to press the home button. Those are the only downsides uh, um, to using the, you know, uh, GameCube controller nowadays on the Switch. Would I suggest using this in like competitive, um, you know, gameplay? No, not unless you are super good with the uh, Switch con. Uh, not unless you are super good with the GameCube controller. And not too good with the um, switch controller, then, or you just really want to use the GameCube controller because of nostalgia, yeah, get the Mayflash uh, GameCube adapter. Um, maybe one day they'll put out a pad so you could do like a brilliant combination, like right on the D pad plus start to go to home, um, and uh, right on the D pad plus start. To take a screenshot or something like that, or Z and start, or 
uh, whatever. You know, you know. I mean, you know, like some form of fun combination to, uh, you know, replace some missing buttons. Um, but other than that, um, uh, I would, you know, if you're making a game for this, or you know, you're you're Nintendo watching this, and uh, you're listening to me, actually, then. Please add a GameCube controller settings for your games because using, like I said, the GameCube controller is my favorite. And if you add a GameCube controller setting to your game, I they would probably have a lot of people really happy because there are a lot of people who do like love the GameCube controller merely from exposure from Smash Bros. No, the Smash Bros. was on the GameCube, but I can't remember what the name that one was. Was it Melee or Brawl? It was one of those two. Um, both good. Well, I haven't played the GameCube one, but I love the Wii one. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I'm just going to show some, me playing um, PvP in Minecraft now.
Thank you.